Hey guys, almost 80% of the rainfall in India is contributed by the monsoon. And you know what? This monsoon is controlled by the mountain ranges along the coastal plain. And that we used to call it as Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. So in our today's 60 seconds fact, we are going to see some of the interesting facts about the Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. Welcome to my channel Success Guru and myself Panjanada. So the Western Ghats are the continuous range that stretch up to 1600 km along the west coast whereas the Eastern Ghats are discontinuous range of mountains along the east coast. The Western Ghats are formed at the time of Gondwana breakup somewhat near 150 million years ago. The Eastern Ghats are older than Western Ghats and have a complex geological history. The Western coast is an active margin where tectonic activities takes place. The eastern coast is a passive margin where no much tectonic activities takes place. And almost 40% of the Indian river system originate from the western guards. And these rivers cut erode through the eastern guards. The UNESCO, it is the UNESCO's world heritage site. And the eastern guards contain more than 20 sanctuaries and national parks. The western guards and eastern guards together influence the Indian monsoon weather pattern. The Western Ghats meet the Eastern Ghat at the Nilgiri mountain near the northwestern Tamil Nadu. The Bilgiri Rangam forest ecology is the second largest wild ancient elephant population in India. I hope I have explained few of the important facts about the Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. And our next video will be on Cretaceous Tertiary Boundary. And I am interested to support the students who are preparing for the JAM and NET examinations through online free classes. So if anybody is interested, let me know. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you feel that it will be useful for someone else, consider sharing. And if you want to see such a videos regularly, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.